All right, so we are getting really close to finishing up all of our scattering here. The last step in this entire process really is to actually get that path onto each point. And we basically just need to do a wrangle node. So that way we discern whether or not a point is has a tag of tree or has a track of rock or a tag of uh, bush. All right, and then assign the appropriate uh, data to it. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do that inside of Houdini. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop down another attribute wrangle node. Okay, so this is going to be how we get uh, the path information, so the Unity instance information, onto our particular foliage point here. Okay? All right, so what I want to do is I want to feed in the rocks into the first input, the trees into the second input, and then the bushes into that third input there. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to kind of organize it like this. We'll call this uh, instance adders. Alrighty. And there we go. Cool. So what we want to do in here is first I'm going to create a uh, seed value. So I'm just going to create a new local variable called seed. And we're going to declare a new float channel. All right. We'll just call that seed as well. So this will be our, our seed value so we can change the randomness of all this stuff. And then what I want to do is I want to say if... Uh, s at tag is equal to uh, rock, or I think it was rocks, all right, so let's come over to our, yeah, it was rocks, all right, so you can see that all these particular points should have a point tag of rocks, and it's a string, so we can look for that now, so we can uh, basically filter all these things out, so I'm going to say if the tag is equal to rocks here, all right, then what I want to do is I want to get the number of points from our first input here. That's where we pumped in our rocks. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, int uh, and points is equal to the number of points from input one. So then we basically want to build a random number from that. Okay, so we can then build a float called rand num or rand path. How about that? Because we're going to use this value to pick a random path uh, from our particular rock node over here, or blast node. Okay, so I'm going to say equals rand, and what we're going to do is we are going to put in at ptnum, all right, and we're going to add on our seed value, like so, and then we basically want to multiply that by our endpoints, like so. Okay, and the last thing that we really need to do is to convert this whole thing into an int. And the reason why we need an int, actually, instead of a float, is because this is going to be an index into uh, one of the points. So we're going to use this as a point number to get a point from one of these nodes so we can get a specific uh, rock path. Okay, so let's go and do that. So now what I want to do is basically um, assign a special Houdini engine attribute. So this is an attribute that the Houdini engine is looking for. Uh, in order to instantiate an actual prefab. So it's going to be called at s at unity underscore instance. And we're going to make that equal to a path that we get from, let's say, the rock node. So input one. Okay, so we're going to get the, the information from here. And we want to get one of the paths. All right, so we're going to say path. And we're going to provide it our rand path index that we just created right up here. And what that does is it basically gives us a path. So let's go and find our Unity instance path. So we're looking through all these guys. And what we're looking for is one of the points that's a rock should have a path on it. So there we go. So here's all of our rocks. And you can see that it actually put on all the bushes. That's pretty interesting. So all the rocks got a whole bunch of uh, bushes. And that is because, so I'm looking at point one, and these are all bushes. All right, so this is get rocks, get trees. Did I mix this up over here? Yep. So this, this one is trees. This one is also trees. This one, so we want to do type one here, so we get all rocks. All right, and then here we want to do type two so we get all the bushes. All right, so now that should be set appropriately. So let's check it out again. 
So we're going to come through and find our Unity instance attribute. And you can see all the rocks have a path, whereas the trees and the bushes haven't been assigned yet. All right, cool. So all we really need to do is just copy this whole block here and say, well, if you're a tree, so if your tag from the scatter node is a tree, all right, then what we want to do is we want to look up input two. All right, so we're going to get the number of points from two. Cool. And then we're going to look up geometry two and basically assign it a tree. All right, randomly. And we're going to then do the same thing for bushes. All right, so we'll come down here. We're going to say, is your tag equal to bushes? If it is, then we're going to get the input from input three. And we're going to look at geometry three to get a path from. So hopefully that, that all made sense. All right, so now all of our particular foliage points have some sort of unity instance on it. And I actually need to spell unity instance appropriately, or this will not work at all. So it's unity. There we go. We'll just copy that. And we'll paste that in there. And then paste that in there. Cool. All right, so now it's unity instance. It has to be that name. Cool, so now we have rocks and we have trees. Yep, trees are assigned to the trees and the bushes are assigned to the bushes. And that is basically all we need to do to get our data from our CSV file put onto our points that we scattered for foliage. So what I'm gonna do is put down a null node here and this is going to be out foliage points. And again, you don't have to do this. I, I just kind of like to do this. Um, it's kind of my, my pattern. Okay, so there we go. We now have our terrain scatter HDL hooked up. So let's go and save it like so. And for now, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to promote our coverage values. All right, so inside of here, what I want to do is I want to go to my scatter nodes here. Okay, and I'm going to promote the bushes coverage. All right, so those are going to be bushes like so. And I'm going to promote my tree coverage like so. And then we're going to promote the rock coverage. All right, we'll hit apply and accept. Now you can always go and, you know, uh, expose all the noise and the masking values as well. Uh, but I'm just going to keep things simple for now. Cool. So that's that. Let's save this file. We'll say save node. And we'll do a quick test here inside of Houdini just to make sure we don't get any errors here. So what I want to do is I want to dirty and cook selected node. And you can see that it's rolling through and creating our point. So we'll let this cook here and I'll be right back. All right. So the terrain scatter finished up and you can see now we have points for each of our tiles. Pretty cool. And we have a lot of points. All right, but this is why we're using TOFS because it splits it up into nice little tasks for us so we don't have to manage it manually. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys there. And in the next lecture, what we're going to do is uh, finish this up and actually test it all out inside of Unity. Thanks so much.